Hello, how's it going? I'm Andy and welcome to my living room. I uh, just wanted to start by saying thanks very much. Uh, thanks for all the support. Um, if you've been subscribed for a while now, thanks for sticking around. And if you've only just joined, uh, thanks for subscribing. So, uh, yeah, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know I don't normally talk. But I thought now was a good opportunity to maybe explain a bit better what I'm doing and maybe answer some of your questions. So yeah, that's intro done. So today's build is going to be a pair of hands. I thought it would be good if I made a pair of hands first and then we could move on arms, legs and then move on to bodies and talk about all the options that come with that. Uh, but for my hands I would normally use spoons and cotton buds. Yeah, I know, but you can get the shapes from anywhere. You cut it from plastic bottle, from cardboard. Uh, it's up to yourself, really. Yeah, I know, but sure, we'll get started, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I've got my spoons and my cotton buds here. I'm gonna cut the handles of the spoons and keep those because they're gonna be used later for building our arms and legs with. And then I'm gonna cut the ends off the cotton buds. We'll keep those as well. I don't know why just yet, but I'm sure they'll come in handy for something. Keep the offcuts of the spoons there because they're going to make good palms later on. Basically, keep everything. That's you know, just don't throw anything out. So now that I've got all my fingers cut, I'm going to divide them into three and uh, kind of crush them or cut them ever so slightly on those marks and that's going to just make them easier to bend and it means it gives the fingers a wee bit of movement, you can kind of pose them a wee bit before you glue them. Yeah I know, so just going to go through and do them all. If you can't get your hands on any plastic spoons and you want to start building, uh, just cut the shape from anything you can find. You know, a little bit of cardboard or a plastic bottle. Uh, you know, check the bin. Uh, this is the straw from inside a spray bottle. Uh, thanks, Bill. Uh, I'm cutting some plastic rings just for the fingers from this. Uh, it just uh, gives the fingers a bit more bulk. I uh, know. I uh, cut uh, two per finger, and you could cut them whatever length you want. In cutting these ones quite small, but depending on what look you want to go for, you could cut them a bit longer, or cut a short one and then a long one for the tip. I'm just going to carefully burn the edges of the spoon here and uh, this kind of curls curls over the edge, kind of rolls it up and uh, just makes it look a bit better, takes off that cut plastic look off it. Now, unless you've been really careful, all your fingers are going to be different lengths. 
So I try to sort them into some kind of order first uh, before we start to glue them. And then you see the baking powder here and super glue. And I've, what I've done is I've sanded the, the spoon there first before gluing. I forgot to film that, but you want to make sure you sand that spoon really well first because nothing's going to stick to it if you don't. And as always, plenty of super glue and baking powder. To be honest, I kind of use it like cement. You know, with the, I would keep two types of super glue, a kind of thick super glue and then a slightly thinner one. And the thin one's good for when you're finished, you can go over your, your baking powder, kind of smooths it out and fills in some of those gaps. But yeah, like I said, I, I really do lay the glue in there like cement, because you're going to cover this up anyway. As I'm attaching the fingers, I'm making sure that they're going from long to short, and, uh, and then remember to do the opposite on the other hand. So, now they're all attached, I'm going to go back in with more glue and baking powder, just to make sure. So for posing the fingers, I like to keep the finger closest to the thumb, which is the longest finger. I like to keep it straight and then gradually curl the other fingers as they get away from the longest one. I think it just looks the best. If you sort of relax your own hand and look at it, that's kind of the way a relaxed hand sits. Right, now I have to put all these rings on. Uh, I'll put them on first and uh, then add some glue and slide them around a bit just to make sure that the glue gets up and underneath them. Yeah, I know, and that way that they, they don't move around when you're trying to pose the fingers. So here what I'm doing is adding a wee dab of glue to the knuckles and uh, and putting some baking powder over and to me it, it uh, makes pretty cool like rusted knuckles kind of stands out like knuckles it's our palm that we kept earlier we'll probably have to cut it to shape a wee bit but uh, yeah that's going to cover up all the nasty glue work and uh, make it nice and tidy I just need to make another one and make sure you put the thumb on the right side. So 
So for primer, I just get from the car body shop around the corner. Uh, the tins are massive and it's cheap. So yeah, it's just car car body primer and a rattle can. So there we go. That's uh, hands done. I hope this helps. And uh, any questions or comments, you just know where to go down below. Uh, work away there. I'll always try to answer any comments. And uh, next video, I'm probably going to do a uh, full build. I think I'll do a, like a mini bot, something like this. Yeah, I know. Something like that, okay. So yeah, we'll do him next video, and then video after that, I'll move on to doing some arms and some legs. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.